Uh, you managed Dino Bravo in WWF. Did you know him before WWF? I knew him when I started wrestling in Montreal because Dino, I don't know, I can't swear to it, but I think he had bought some shares, you know, because he was starting himself and he, he wanted and I wanted. So that's how we met. And uh, I speak French, I speak English, I speak Spanish. So he asked me if I wanted to go with the WWF with him. And I did, and it was from 87 to 1990. And it was a, quite an experience. You know. And uh, what exactly happened with, uh, do you know to your knowledge, with his uh, execution style death? I have no idea. No idea at all. He was a very nice guy. We didn't we didn't hang out together, you know. I made sure that he had the hotel reserve, that he had the limousine picking him up at the hotel to go train. And I had another limousine at night, so he go he trained twice a day. And one time we were at the gold gym in um, California, what's the name of it? Venice. Ven Venice, Venice, California, right. And he did on the bench press there, 700 pounds. And those who write the books, the guy said, do you mind if we write it down? He said, I said, no, no, go ahead. He said, I've never seen nobody here push 700 pounds. And afterwards, that's when he was, he was training for that 710 pounds. Remember that? Uh, in the years back, he was here in Ontario somewhere. No, he was uh, a good guy, very tough. Uh, so you were probably pretty surprised uh, when you heard about his death? Yes, I was very surprised, you know. Because I knew, I knew him, we were, I thought we were friends, you know. But uh, when I heard that, it really hurt me, you know. He was not a bad guy to me, you know.